OK, we're back here with our 2017 Husky 350. We really like this bike. My shirt matches the new graphics and seat. How cool is that? So we kind of went with this, got it all ready for uh, Rado. So much blast is going to test this bike. And uh, he, we really like these 350s. He's going to ride this thing. And we got some custom made graphics from Decal Works to match this thing and uh, UFO, all white plastic. We cleaned up our muffler. We actually, I think we actually put another used one on that was better than the other one we had. So clean that up, put on some scarf foot pegs, new hints and clutch inside, just plates and springs, uh, P3 carbon skid plate, which actually came with the bike. We've ha we haven't had it on, we got that on there. Um, chain and sprockets, we got a 51 rear, stock is 50. We put a Stealth Super Sprock sprocket on there with their um, MXTL chain, which is like their moto chain, but it's a small, O-ring, they call them U-rings, small. Um, so it's still a lighter weight chain, really good and strong. So we, had, we got that on there. And then as far as other key things, uh, we've been tweaking with the suspension. Oh, we, sorry, we got, we got the bars we like with these, Pro Taper Bend bars we like, and or, or, or newer ODI grips. We even got these covers on here to keep them clean, which is kind of silly, but we did that. Um, Moto Seat made us a cover that matched, and that's kind of the update on this bike. Really loving this bike. We're going to get in some footage of us riding this thing. Uh, these 350s, I think, are about the perfect size. I call them Goldilocks because they're just right. They're not too slow. They're not too fast. And uh, sometimes they're a little too fast, uh, but not too bad. So pretty good. And we got the map from Jamie at Twisted Development with, his, uh, with, with the Vortex in there. And that thing's really good. Um, we've been pretty happy with this bike. Now, the stock suspension is pretty dang good. Our fork sills were leaking, and that was one reason I went ahead and put this cone valve set that I had on here that I'm probably going to be selling soon. So I went ahead and put that stuff on here with this track shock. We have that on here. So we're going to get a little bit more input from Rado after he rides this thing, and we'll put a little bit more time on it and get back with you. All right, so we're back here with our 17 FC350, and uh, Rado just went and rode it at his personal compound <laughs> on his motocross. He's improving his motocross skills uh, and trying to, w but uh, I've kind of been talking about the, how I think this thing's kind of the Goldilocks of bikes. Goldilocks is a, it's American story. Do you know that story? We have it too. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's too hot, too cold, <laughs> too soft, too hard. Big bears, right? Yeah, yes. There so go. Goldilocks likes it just right. I have a wig, like a Goldilocks wig I should put on mm -hmm. when I talk about this bike because <laughs> to me, 350 is kind of just right. What did you think of it when you went and take it out? I want to keep it. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's talk about it a little later. <laughs> yeah, I love the bike, man. It, uh, it's really good. Uh, it's uh, everything I need. And uh, I said it, uh, I did my own video, right? Yeah. And, uh, and uh, I said on the video that uh, it's really everything you can ever need uh, for motocross. Main track, vet track, uh, even if you go on a desert, I think this engine stuck because you don't do a lot of uh, on, on the engine. It's just at the vortex ignition and FMF, right? So engine is stuck, but the power is amazing. And uh, with the suspension that you did, the cone valve, mm -hmm. I was actually trying to uh, hit my jumps and overshoot all of them and land flat because I have these doubles, you know, yep. like little jump here and here and you have to jump over. So I was trying to go long and this thing was just soaking everything up. It was really good. Oh, so yeah. it felt better than any of the oh, other bikes you've had over there. Absolutely. Uh, it's really like, uh, I think if you have this kind of suspension and you, you case the jump, you can probably save the <laughs> crash. Yeah, and all you go too long, you can save the crash. So it's, it's really, if you have a uh, little extra money to invest into suspension, something like this, I think, would make you a better rider, definitely. Oh, cool. Well, we got a little GoPro of Spencer riding, Rado, and and then also I'll have some of Spencer riding. Really fun bike, and you can check out Rado's video. And uh, it's just another fun. I've, I've come to really realize these are really cool bikes. I still, I still kind of would prefer a 250 big bore that's built, but cost wise i still think the best thing for your money is a 350 mm. that you can do some stuff to keep them running and i'm still kind of leaning towards xcf uh for most use because it, it's got a little bit better tranny spreader ratios um on that use but these 350s i don't think you can go wrong with it either way so you like the, the xcf uh better on the track than the sxf we yeah we still like the transmission even better it seemed like it, it the, the, the ratios which, are a little further apart when, uh, when uh, every gear is different it's a little bit broader so you don't have oh. to maybe shift as often okay. and uh it felt like so like uh you know first and second are both 
tall uh, seconds taller mm -hmm. and so you can kind of leave it in gear longer Stay a little longer though. yeah okay. and so i like that and then obviously in the track moto you're never going to get into fifth or sixth right. really none of the stuff we do mm -hmm. so we're just i think even fourth is questionable right on most yeah. track even yeah. maybe we have, we might click fourth somewhere but very mm -hmm. rare so but it, on the trail bikes, on the trail use, it's nice to have that six gear yeah. to connect down the roads right. to blaze and, you know, feel like you're going something fast. Mm -hmm. So anyway, real fun time. Thanks for uh, riding it and checking anytime. it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anytime. anytime. So we, it, Rado's riding. He's going to test plenty of our bikes coming up as well. So hopefully we'll see you out the tracker trail soon. And remember, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.